This video chapter is going to focus on how to scrub in an aseptic manner. There are many procedures in anaesthetics that require a sterile technique. Before starting your scrub, it's essential to prepare your gown and gloves and your sterile trolley. Remember to put on your mask and your protective eyewear. Also remember to remove your watch and any jewellery that you have on your fingers. The scrub begins by rinsing your hands and your arms. After this, you can apply soap to your hands. When washing your hands, it's important to wash each finger individually on the sides and on the front and the back. It's also important to wash in the web spaces and don't forget the first web space of your thumb. One can then wash one's nails by rubbing the nails into the palm of your hand. After washing both hands, one moves on to the arms. One can wash one's arms by holding onto your arm with your hand and moving it quickly backwards and forwards. Washing again the front and the back and also the sides of your arms. From the, you must wash from the wrist all the way to your elbows. Having washed your hands and your arms once, you then rinse off the soap with running water. During this step, it's important to keep your hands up and your elbows down so that any water that runs off your arms does not run onto your hands and contaminate them. One can now begin the second scrub. Again, you must apply soap to your hands. You do this by using your elbow on a soap dispenser. It's essential during the scrub that you don't touch anything with your hands or with your arms. When you wash your hands for the second time, you follow the same procedure as the first time. Having now washed your hands and your arms twice, you can rinse off the soapy water. Again, remember to keep your hands up and your elbows down so that any water runs off into the basin. You can then close the tap by using your elbow. When drying one's hands, it's important that the water that is dripping off your arms and your hands does not land on your gloves or on your sterile gown. You must start by first drying your fingers and your hands thoroughly. Don't worry about drying your, your arms yet. If your hands are wet, you will not be able to put your gloves on easily. Once your hands are thoroughly dry, you can then dry your wrists and your arms. You must never dry your elbows and then move the cloth back up to your wrists or your hands, as this contaminates the sterility. When putting on your gown, you must have an awareness of your surroundings, as it is very easy to touch a light or to bump into someone that's walking past you. When putting on your gloves, try not to touch the sterile part of your gloves with your hands. Once you are scrubbed and your gown and gloves are on, you now have to pay careful attention to not touch anything and contaminate yourself. When walking through any doors, it's important to walk backwards through the door and open the door with your back. You can also communicate with other people in the theatre and let them know that you are sterile and they must move out the way for you. And that's all for now.